and it's a quick one, so I'm going to try to do it before we go to our commercial break. Can you do a second motion for extension of time to respond to a foreclosure summons? Answer, sure. Why not? Let's say, for example, you needed 30 days. You go in and interview an attorney in that 30 days, and you tell the court, I need 30 days to get in to see an attorney. You get in to see an attorney, and you don't like them. You say, you know what? I don't necessarily know if this is the right guy for me. So you file a second motion for extension of time. This time you're going to need circumstances. Say, Your Honor, I have an interview with this attorney on such and such a date, such and such a time, and therefore I need an extension of time to do this. Or you can get an agreement beforehand with the opposing counsel. Now their job is to prosecute the foreclosure, so they're probably not going to be interested in giving you a second extension of time. You're going to need to seek court relief to do that. So you file your motion, you set it for a hearing, not because you want to be a jerk and waste time, but say, Your Honor, here's what's going on. I talked to an attorney. We didn't see eye to eye, and therefore I want to interview another attorney, but my time was going to run out. Therefore, I filed a second motion. I don't think the judge is going to be too harsh on you on that. He might have said you need to respond, you know, you should have done it this way, but it's still, it's not going to be, it's not going to kill the case. You're not unnecessarily delaying it. If your plan is to try to unnecessarily delay the proceedings by filing a second motion of extension of time, then I think you're going to get hammered and the judge is going to say no. You don't want to unnecessarily delay court proceedings because the judges are going to look at it and say, look, I'm a busy guy. Why are you wasting my time? I understand that. The other attorney on the other side extended a professional courtesy once. If you want another professional courtesy, you better have a really good reason to do it.